in this era of COVID, we're all a little isolated. And um, that's kind of how I've been with doing this and raising my kids. So I've kind of always, I've, I've always had a little level of that. And that's, that's kind of how Van Gogh felt. I mean, he was, he was very lonely in isolation. Jesse Wise grew up in Helena and began painting when she was a young teen. She used painting as an avenue to handle stress in her life, and she found inspiration in Vincent Van Gogh. More in my adult life, I would say. <laughs> He's become more relevant, and I've related to him on a lot of levels. And, and it's just such a sad story, but, you know, it's it's history and, and it's it's beautiful that everyone can come together recognizing this image, people who don't know, you know, and it's it's exciting because that's what he would have wanted. When the coronavirus pandemic hit, Jessie was furloughed from her job. She went through a difficult divorce and despite her family asking her to leave her art behind, she pressed on. These helped me get through that big time. You know, I've never left my town, so it's it's a blessing and a curse sometimes, but uh, it's home and I don't ever want to leave. Um, so this was my way of uh, just paying homage to that. And I didn't really, I, I didn't know if anyone would ever want to see them or, or anything like that. But people not only wanted to see her renditions of Starry Night, now her paintings are in such high demand, she paints full time and even has a waiting list of customers wanting to own her paintings. People just started eating them up and they're like, I, I want a copy of that. I'm like, sweet. So I started ordering prints and, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Each painting that I, I released, like uh, the cathedral, it's just been huge. Jessie has sold more than 100 copies of her Helena renditions of Starry Night. She plans on having 12 total paintings in the series, but each painting takes several months to complete. Well, these first three took me over a year combined, so they take a few months minimum each. Her fifth piece in the series is The Sleeping Giant, and she's still adding the final touches to that painting. Jessie still can't believe how far her art has taken her, and she's sure Vincent would be proud. This is just opened so many doors. I've met so many new people and heard so many stories. And, and I just think that he would, he would love what's come out of this. In Helena, Jessica Nelson, MTN News. And Jesse's recently been hired by the Civic Center to design pieces of art for their green room renovation.